very important that when you build your grain bins, you make sure you have a fan that is of adequate size to cool the bins when you need to. This fan is equipped to blow air into the bottom of the bin, and therefore you're going to be cooling the bin from the bottom up. The more you run the fan, you will have a actually a cooling front that will move through the grain, and the more cold air you blow in there, it'll cool it from the bottom to the top. Since we only have a few hours each night when we're first starting to cool, then the more air we can blow in those few hours, the more we can move that front upward in the bins. What we really want to prevent is temperatures in the, in the range of 70 degrees to 95 degrees. Those temperatures are ideal for insect development in the bins. It's always important to use aeration for your best advantage of controlling temperature in the bin, but you never really know how well of a job you've done at lowering your temperature in the bin unless you've got some method of reading the temperature inside. In this case, we've used thermocouple wire that we've run inside the bin through this PVC pipe and to a, to a known depth inside the bin here. And we've twisted the end of the thermocouple wire so that we can make a reading using one of these thermocouple reader devices. And we can come back and check the temperature inside the bin. If we have an aeration controller such as this device here, we can use the temperatures to our best advantage. Now this simply is a thermostat that controls the aeration fans. It also has a humidistat in here that will prevent this uh, aeration fan from coming on if we are uh, real high humidities. If it was raining, for example, we wouldn't want to run the fans to blow a lot of humidity into the grain.